So this is an old school Theragun and I never use this thing because it's so loud. I hate turning it on, it's so stressful. There's no question that it works for one part of flexibility training. It doesn't make you more flexible, but it's great at the nervous system element. For any of you who've had body work done, massage work done, you just feel so loose afterwards, it's the same concept. If you were to elbow push and release, if you were to percussive therapy, good, 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 it really helps to get rid of that nervous system tension. All of these things can work for turning the light switches off, getting into the flexibility you already have. However, they won't actually build more range of motion in your tissues. And it's really important to remember that because we love, me too, gizmos. And we love foam rollers. And every gym in the world, you will find some guy, I don't know why, it's always a guy, just rolling on a foam roller for like an hour and a half, thinking that he's making himself more flexible. If you use a foam roller or a massage gun or massage balls or body work, you should use it as a very small part of your practice. If massage guns made you more flexible, really important, if they made you more flexible, every athlete all around the world would be massage gunning the heck out of their tissues every day and they're not. They do use these things in the same way they might use massage or sauna or magnesium rubs and magnesium cell. All of these things can be helpful for light switches off, but in terms of sarcomerogenesis, they play a much smaller role.